Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Brian James, and today we've got another unboxing video. Well, it's an untubing video if you want. But first of all, we'll um, just do a quick update on my Chevron. So at the moment, it's completely blown apart. There's its heart sitting over there, kind of waiting for some action to happen to that. And the rest of it sitting at my work, uh, completely stripped apart, waiting to be sandblasted and powder coated. So once that starts to happen, I'll be able to start putting it back together again. And we'll do a few more videos in regards to that. But let's get on to what we're doing today. So uh, this is all the decals for the next project. Uh, if you don't know, I'm doing a JPS tribute car. So I looked around in New Zealand and there are a lot of very good sign writers here in New Zealand. But the one I settled on was up in England and it's from a website, a website called I Say Ding Dong. That sounds really odd, but I suggest you go and take a look at it. And I will put a link down below so you guys can link on to it. They do an amazing array of uh, off the shelf decals from early race cars. On top of that, uh, as I've found out, they have no problems doing specials and one-offs. So uh, I've gotten them to create me a couple of um, special decals for the car. So without further ado, shall we uh, take a look at what we got? This should be interesting. This is the part I love. Now, it only took about two weeks from when I ordered it to when I received it. So once again, the shipping was excellent. I can't complain about that. They used uh, track and trace, international tracking and tracing. So um, their shipping is not a problem. Right, we're in. Ooh. So you may be wondering about the car I'm sitting on at the moment. This belongs to my son. It's his latest purchase. It's a little uh, 720 Datsun King Cab, 1985. And it's very nice condition. So yeah, we've got paperwork. Right, let's roll this out. You want to come and have a look? Okay, so this is one of the specials that I've had specifically made. I gave them the sizes, and this is going to go in the centre of the bonnet. Now we've got a whole lot of um, promo stickers. So that, that's the company that I was using. So I have to find a place for them on the car. Oh, yep. Document wallet, obviously JPS. So what I plan on doing is having a little, um, like a document pocket in the car, and that's going to be in it. Oh, yep, little wee. I just thought they looked very cool, so I had to order them. Um, for the back, little JPS man. So these are another one that they did for me that were custom. And they're to um, so that's to go on the back of the bodywork. So up where you would have normally a spare tire sitting. I won't have a spare tire, but I will have those. Uh, they had to go on the back of the back guards. That's for the roll cage. These two here are for the bonnet. So just 
up onto the side. So we've got, I thought they looked quite cool, so I definitely grabbed them. But these are to go on the front of the rear guards, and then they'll be covered by a um, anti-scuff film. So obviously the, the gold and the black is all going to work because the car is going to be painted black. Or alternatively, I could have those, and I could even have those on the back as well. Uh, so when I get the wheels, these are for the centre caps. Seventies. And we've got another custom made JPS one. That's not got the, um, what they call the half garland. You can see you've got the black and the gold and the garland. That's just a full garland. And that's probably going to go up into the engine bay. It's actually along with... And they are to go on the top of the guard, the front guard, where the clamshells come up and over. That's just going to go on the top there. Right. These pieces here, that's to go on the side of the bodywork. So right down low along the full length of the bodywork, these can go and obviously where the driver would sit, you've got the JPS, so the passen that's the passenger side, that's the driver's side, and again that's a custom made piece, and okay, so I couldn't resist it. I had to get a banner for the garage. Why not? Okay, so that's basically it for the uh, the unboxing. Um, I'm extremely happy with what I've got. And I will be using them again because I've got a few other ideas that I want to put to them and get them to custom make. All up, this was incredibly reasonably priced. So that's what everyone asks. How much is it? Well, to give you an idea, Say, a set like that is two pound. Or, in our, our dollars, about four dollars for those two stickers. All these stickers are able to be cleared over, so they are UV proof, so they are specifically for the automotive industry and for being outside. Even the custom made stickers, so that Big custom. Let's have a look here and see if it's got it. So, so the banner was only nineteen pounds, the document holder wasn't much. Um Yeah, so all up, including shipping, all the custom made. Here's, here's the other. Yeah, so that that big custom made sticker there was fifteen pound. So very, that's very little. So all up, the whole thing was £87, which I think is completely reasonable to get your car fully decaled out. It really stands out, like um, with my Lucky Strike car, that really stood out. A and people wanting to know what, what it, is, it was about. The JPS is a very traditional colour scheme, black and gold. I think this, this little chevron is going to be really stunning when it's finished. Anyway, I'm going to pack all this back up. You guys have a good day. Don't forget to, if you like what you saw, click like and subscribe. There will be more videos coming, and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you may want.
See you later.